hi everyone this is part two of listening to this despicable disgusting ungrateful american here and as a veteran no 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 every american every american if you say you care about democracy this should make you so upset it should have you think about a lot of things that has happened over the past couple of years while some people get banned for just suggesting or thinking that, you know, maybe something was wrong with our elections. You have individuals like this who says the quiet part out loud and nothing happens. You wonder why you wonder why we think this way. Give us a reason. Okay. Well, you know, Sam does. So without further ado, let's get into what the hell he says that should make every American upset. Oh, yeah. No, there, no one has clean hands here. But it, it, at the 11th hour, when it's when who knows how this election is going to go, who, know, who knows what the capacity for, you know, disinformation at the last minute to to tip the balance is then what do you do with the hunter biden laptop story when we already know we we know how this played out in 2016 with the hillary clinton email you know press conference where, where comey and in, 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 in an abundance of scrupulosity felt like he had to come before the cameras i think 10 days out from the election and say you know we've we're going to open up this this investigation again because we've got anthony weiner's laptop uh we could see, I mean, again, her failure to become president was overdetermined. She was a, an appallingly bad candidate. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of just tracking the poll numbers, you could, like, that was, that was the killing blow. So you knew. You knew that with the Biden story laptop being suppressed, it would kill his shots of being elected because it would have played out exactly the same way it did for Hillary. And he's allowed to say this on television. But let someone mention it. Louder with Crowder? Oh, they're suspended. They're suspended. Okay. But this man can say some shit like this to her candidacy, right? That that final moment, and this was a this was a highly analogous situation. This was we're going to open up this laptop from hell, and the n news cycle for who knows how long is going to be just a, just the, conceivably just a nuclear bomb of a, an October October surprise. And who does who gives a, cr a crap how long the news cycle is uh, going to be because of the failure of President Biden and his sons? This is their failure. This is their fuck up. The American people deserve to know. We're going to get four more years of Trump if we actually give this a fair hearing. But Sam, but you can't do that, you Sam. Surely you've got to realize that. You've got to be fair. And number, the thing that I want to We're talk We're all equal before the law. Yeah. And exactly. We are all equal before the law. You know how Liz, uh, fucking Nancy Pelosi will sit here and say, we are, none of us are above the law. Bitch, you, your husband, you, you, you are inside a traitor. God, I'll, you along with a whole bunch of, a bunch of other people, including Rand Paul. And I do like Rand Paul, but still, he's not above the law either. All of y'all should be in jail. Because if this was freaking... Uh, regular citizens, not only will we be facing fines, we'll be seeing years, years in jail. Let's not even think about the one guy, the one kid, the kid that y'all sent away forever for making the Silk Roads, but yet we turn around and y'all just handing out drugs on the goddamn street, handing out drugs and needles for people to use on the street. Y'all should all be going to jail. This isn't the law. But the I know it's not the law, law but yeah. if this is, if you accept my my supposition that this is the public square, then it is the law. It is, if it is the public square, then it is law. Now, you're arguing it's not the public square, which is fair enough. Yeah. 
Right, that's right. fine. Yeah, but no. why don't we move on? Because I think we, we've done enough. Yeah, sure. Yeah. He's oh, sucked course. up a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, got, he's got, got a habit of yeah. doing that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'll just say, just finally, I, I do... Keep digging again. yourself... Dig yourself in a hole. Yes, Never hole. Keep digging yourself in a hole. You already got two people here. And the guy with the glasses says he's he's more on the far left. And he's even seeing the fallacies in your in your ideology. Dude, you cannot do this. You cannot do this. If you care so much about democracy, you can't no, you can't have democracy on what on your terms. That's not democracy. Coin toss for me, the Hunter Biden laptop thing. Because I, I do understand how corrosive it is for an institution like the, the New York Times to show obvious bias and inconsistency and dishonesty in how they, because like they couldn't even frame it honestly. It's not like, <laughs> it, it's not like, it's like the way I would frame it is, uh, listen, I don't care what's in Hunter Biden's life. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden, but even if Joe, like even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right? Or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption of and this is where my veteran side is going to get kicked in. Anyone who goes through security clearance can vouch for this. I remember getting in trouble when I was a teenager. And, you know, I told myself, let me get myself together. You know, foster care was kind of hard for me, you know, for those five years. And I got in a little bit of trouble, but I made sure I stayed out of trouble when I was 16. The military would not take me. The military would not take me in when I tried at 18. I had to wait to prove myself that I wasn't a goddamn threat to national security. And when you have a president who's, who we know, we know he's the 10% is the big guy. He could be a threat to our national security, but the bribery for, by officials that are outside of America using him like a fucking pep puppet a marionette puppet that's what he will be and the audacity for this man to say this it is not infinitesimal it is not infinitesimal if, if, if soldiers have to be scrutinized so that they are our government is assured assured that we would never be used in a way that would jeopardize our national security. I think that should be the priority for our president too. And the fact that this man would say some bullshit like that. You do not care about our country. You do not care about our democracy. You do not care about our constitution. You are an enemy of the, of the United States. In my opinion, you are a fucking enemy and a traitor. I swear this guy, this man ever, anyone ever listens to him? Anyone in power ever listens to him? Stop. Stop! Just stop listening to this man. He's a fuck. He's a danger and a menace to our society. You want to talk about people hurting people? Tell me what is more detrimental to the American people, but by lying to them, lying to them. This should make every American upset, not just veterans. The ones who, the people I know who died to protect this shit. For him to say some idiotic bullshit like that. If I did not believe in the stuff that I swore, Lord Jesus, help me, God. People like him, you, you have a platform and you say this shit. No one, no one cares. No one bats an eye. And you wonder why. You wonder why people have these conspiracy theories about our elections. Where you can just come on camera and say this shit so calmly. You wonder why? We know Trump is involved in it. It's like, it's like, it's like a firefly to the sun, right? I mean, like, there, there's just, 
it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the you know the New York Post's Twitter account like that that's a, just a conspiracy that's a left wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was. Absolutely. Right. But I think it was warranted. Right. And I'm and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece I'm, I'm is, really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, yeah. on. But you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle with there, which is the, you kid, the, support. Kid, the, kid, the kids in the basement. You? He think his shit funny. He thinks he he thinks this shit is funny. No, no. <laughs> Fuck yeah. the kids in the yeah. basement. I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left. Oh, yeah. Right? Stutter, so Liz stutter, Cheney is stutter. not left No one's talking about Liz, Liz Cheney. 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 Everything with a in her power. conspiracy to prevent somebody no, being but democratically it's not elected. A, no, but there's nothing. Conspiracy. It's not. It, it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does, but it doesn't matter if it was. A, it doesn't matter what part's conspiracy, what part's out in the open. I mean, I think it's like if people get together and talk and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon. You know, if, if it's like if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth. And, and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course, right? Is that a conspiracy? You know, like some of that conversation would be in public, some of it would be in private. An asteroid compared to who gets to be our president? They're not even on the same spectrum, dumbass. And yet you want to call yourself a fucking intellectual. An asteroid is something that cause that will it's an, uh, an LA it's an LA event okay world's leaders are going to be involved in, in that such a far cry from American people from the American people being able to democratically choose their president without people getting in you know in black robes getting in a fucking room saying how we need to make a candidate how we need to tarnish a candidate so that the american people don't get to vote for them that's not your fucking place that's not the fucking place of their government we have a constitutional republic okay we, we're a constitutional republic our democracy is bound to that and so many people in america are forgetting that we have a constitutional republic. We do not have a fucking goddamn democracy. Okay? We're not some democratic, you know, Ch people's republic of China. We're not some democratic people's republic of Congo. We are the United States of America, United States of America, that is, that has a constitution, and our democracy is bound to that constitution. You cannot go outside of it. And that's all I got to say. But this man, y'all, pissed me the hell off today. Never in a million years did I think that people who had some inkling about whether or not our elections were, you know, done at the utmost, I guess, I, 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 the, the utmost, uh, do, I, had, I, I don't really know what the terminology to speak for this, uh, when it, just honest elections, you know, they keep saying they're honest elections, but yet, Every single time we keep turning around, people get arrested for fraudulent, for fraud, you know, whether it be the, the per, people at the, the ballots counting them or going, you know, ballot harvesting. I don't know. Every single time we turn around, people get in charge. People are getting charged. The, the, didn't the guy in Florida get overturned? His one of the mayors or uh, city mayors get overturned. I'm like, come on. How can you still sit here and keep saying that we had honest elections when you have a man here who would gladly get on television with a straight face and then come up with some crap like this and then you wonder why? You wonder why we have these thoughts? I think it's bullshit. Everybody should be frightened. Everybody should be frightened now when it comes to our elections because we don't know if this shit actually really happens. Are there people who get together in a fucking room and say we should, I don't know, do all this shit on, throw all this shit on this candidate, basically use our power to make sure this person never gets elected? That's not your decision. That's not your choice. I'm 
like, man, I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. And I hope, I hope the private sector does the right thing. I hope people see this man, the charlatan of an intellect, for what he is. And stop listening to him. Stop. He doesn't care about our constitution. He doesn't care about being American. Send his ass to Cuba. Send his ass to China. People like him are dangerous. People need to wake the fuck up already.